What is up everybody? Video Addict here and I got some boxes. Uh, I got a notification the other day said that ESPN was sending me something. Uh, they were here doing filming uh, multiple times uh, for the We The Fans, for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, you'll kind of hear more about that in a minute. Uh, they were over here and whenever they were they were filming in my house and stuff and they had some stuff, photos and different trinkets and videos that they wanted to show. Uh, so they took some stuff and that was fun. And then after the show aired, they sent that stuff back to me. So I just thought that this was just probably more of that. Well, I got the boxes today. And now listen, if you watch the ESPN show, uh, we the fans, you know, if you bleach, you miss me. I I don't know what to say about it. Uh, it sucked. I didn't I didn't like it. But what are you gonna do, right? Uh, this here they sent, and it's a poster, and it shows I'm in the shop right there. <laughs> look, it's look. I'm obviously part of the cast. Every one of those people were amazing. I, I can't tell you how much fun I had hanging out with every one of them. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, what your opinions are on this, that, and the other. I thought that they were all great people. I enjoyed hanging out with them. And hopefully I will get a chance to hang out with them all again this next season. Uh, man, this is a real weird situation for me because, like... The way that it was handled, you know, they came over here and they filmed me a lot. Like, a whole lot. They filmed me out hunting. They filmed me on dates. They, they filmed me with my family. They filmed me working with my dad. They filmed me out working on my hunting lease. They filmed me, like, in my deer stand hunting. And they came over here, like, four times... And a couple of the, two of the times they were here for two days. So they were here like six days just coming over here. That doesn't count all five games that I went to that they filmed me at every game. They filmed me where they brought me over there and we were in some warehouse and they were filming interviews, asking us questions for like a couple of hours each time, you know, putting us up in hotels and everything. And they did all this filming of me and then they cut me out. Now, you know, probably, ESPN is liberal as heck. I mean, there's, I mean, everybody knows it. ESPN is liberal. It's what it is. Uh, and me, <laughs> I review knives, right? I review things that you keep in these little bags here. I review... <laughs> This little thing that's behind my hand right here. I mean, I review survival, tactical, outdoor, shooting, guns and knives, and everything in between. And it doesn't fit their agenda, you know? And it's sad that it's come to that. I understand the things that they put in there uh, hit their marks as their political beliefs and it was so obvious uh but the people that watch the show if you don't know me then you don't know you don't know that they completely cut out me and what i do for all the political stuff that they did not to say that any of that stuff wasn't important you know like i said every one of those cast members was amazing i loved hanging out with them i love visiting with them chatting with them I knew all of their ins and outs. I knew about what their beliefs were. The gay couple, uh, the you know, the guy that was big on the Black Lives Matter and big on the protest, you know, kneeling and all that. And I just, I, I mean, I know. And looking back on it, I am surprised they even made the show. <laughs> I mean, really and truly, I'm surprised they even put me in there. I think. I think once they took the photo, I mean, they figured they had to put something in there. So they just gave me like a little three minute segment, uh, which was, it was, it, 
it offended me. Like it really, really upset me. Uh, that's why I haven't talked about it before now. Really, uh, it it really hurt, you know, uh, because I felt like I was censored. You know, they censored my life basically. Uh, not only that, every bit of this was done on my dime. They did not reimburse me for anything. I had to drive over there and pay my own gas uh, for all these events that normally I don't go over there that much. I normally go to about three games a year, maybe four. This time I had to go to five. I didn't get to sell any of my season tickets, which normally helps me pay for my season tickets. Uh, I had to pay for all my gas travel over there. They put me up in a hotel a couple of times because of whatever, but I still had to pay everything to get over there. I had to take off work to go over there one day. Uh, then we all had to come together as a cast at Cowboy Stadium, at and Stadium, and spent a whole day over there, which I missed work to do and everything else. Uh, you know, it was a big commitment. Now, I loved every minute of it. I loved it. And I'm telling you, it was an amazing experience. But whenever the show comes out and the way that they did me, it really offended me. And it really, it really hurt. And it really kind of, like, I mean, I don't even know why they filmed me. I mean, they should have just cut me out early. My guy, my producer was not there when they were doing the editing. He was, he moved into another part of ESPN. So he left to go transfer jobs, which was an improvement for him. So kudos to him. I love that guy, Alex. He was freaking, he's the guy. I don't understand how he did it, but he got into your head and I mean, he's the coolest guy. And whenever he talks to you, I mean, you think this guy cares about you above everything else. And that's what a great producer I'd imagine would do. And all my communications with him have always been amazing. He's such a good guy. I, and I can't say enough about him. And none of this, you know, I mean, it was such an experience that I can't even tell you. Um, just hanging out with him. But he came over, and like the second time that they came over, they were saying, you know, that they wanted on, wanted us to talk about the kneeling and the protest and President Trump's comments and this, that, and the other. And I didn't feel comfortable about it. I asked him, you know, I was like, listen, you know, liber you know ESPN's pretty liberal. They're not going to want to do all this. And he's like, no, we're telling your story. You know, and at that point, I was like, okay. And then they kept coming back, and I was just like, all right. You know, they really want to tell, tell my story. They don't want to, I mean, I understand. I'm not, I'm not the hot topic right now. I mean, I'm a white male that reviews guns and tactical gear. And, I mean, I know what I am, you know, and I don't fit their agenda. And that's fine. I just really and truly, I wish almost that they would have just said, you know, you don't fit in, you know, you don't fit into what we're doing and just ended it instead of dragging me along the whole season and then having me tell all my family and friends and YouTube subscribers. I mean, I had all kinds of people watching it and everybody was just like, what the heck was that? And I mean, it was, it was a little embarrassing is what it was. It was it it was not it was not great for me i i did not like it at all and uh you know my friends and family they're gonna stand behind me they they i've i've done a lot in my life and they've always stood behind me it, it's just you know it's one of those things it's just it made me feel really really low and embarrassed so that sucked moving on who cares that's over uh, they sent me a box of when I opened it, I was like, oh, well, you know, I might, I might, might as well do this. And I'm kind of past the whole super offended aspect, but I'm still bothered. <laughs> but uh, nothing against the people, nothing against any cast member. I loved everybody. I thought, I mean, I was, I tried to help out. I helped them carry gear here and there. I helped them do load stuff. I mean, I was there just to take it all in. And it was all an experience for me. Uh, 
it that I mean I guess maybe that's why it hurt even more because I felt like these people were like super nice to me and then they just completely cut me out and like they were just dragging me along for whatever reason it just that's the way it felt all right so they sent me this box of swag <laughs> all right first off I got a Monday night football hat this hat feels amazing like the, the material on it is awesome it's got like a pvc pouch of monday night football on here espn uh came from the espn store put this puppy on not bad feels okay not too small a little bit but not much uh i got me a espn water bottle that's cool i will use that uh, an ESPN football, little mini football, cool, uh, ESPN diary, and I got a pen here that doubles as a stylus, you pull it out, the pen tip comes out, pull it in, you got your little stylus you can use on your tablet, uh, iPad, whatever, and it's just a diary slash notebook with some lined paper in it. Uh, pretty cool item. I mean, I like the colors on it, red and gray. It's really, really nice. Uh, next up, I got a t-shirt from Sports Center. Da 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 da. Sports Center, brought to you by Cheetos. Whatever. I don't know. Very nice. I like the shirt. That's pretty funny, actually. And then in here, I got. Uh, backpack now this is the origadio o-r-i-g-a-u-d-i-o origadio and man this thing is so freaking nice i mean it is freaking really cool got some heavy padding on the back nice padding on the on the shoulder straps has a chest strap here really 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 nice you can see it there uh, this here you got ESPN little tag right there um, it's like a hard little plastic plate it's really cool man you got a couple little attachment points on here inside you have what appears to be I guess you can put a hydration pack in here it's got a little outlet here on the top you can put your iPad with your headphones coming out of it so you can listen to stuff if you got it stored on your iPad. Uh, you got a laptop tablet sleeve here and then you got a little mesh pocket here on the front of it and then just the big main compartment goes all the way down in the front. Uh, here this is like a I would guess it's like a lunch kind of thing because this is like a plastic so you could put like your cold lunch is like a lunch pot a lunch bag in your bag so that's what it that's what i would kind of guesstimate it's for and then here on the front you got another pouch with a little uh rubberized thing you can stick your headphones out here you can put your cell phone in here run your headphones out listen to headphones while you're back backpacking around uh you got some little pouches here on the side looks like a water bottle pouch I kind of like how it closes down and then whenever you open it the mesh expands it and I'm guessing it's going to be the same way on this side yeah same on this side uh, two little unzipper pockets that actually have a mesh pocket on this side it's pretty cool got some straps down here you can put a jacket through put your umbrella through cinch these down and tighten it up very cool bag pack, man. I really like this thing. Uh, again, from the ESPN store, $63.25 value. Um, I don't know. Here. Nice. What's really funny is the advertisements. You know, the, the commercial for the show had me doing an uh, doing an unboxing uh video and yet 
when they aired the show, there was absolutely nothing about any of the YouTube stuff and the survival and outdoor unboxings that I do. So I don't understand what that was all about. I don't know. I mean, I know. We all know. Padded sleeves fits most 15 inch laptops, hydration sleeve, RFID lined security pocket. That's what that silver thing is. It's not a lunch pail. <laughs> Daisy chain loops here on the top. Uh, insulated cooler pocket. That was a cooler pocket. I told you that. I knew I was right. Uh, two pockets with tech ports, which is right here. And then you got this other one down here. I didn't see it. So you got two tech ports where you can stick out a cord of some sort. Uh, dual side zip water bottle accessory pockets. That's over there with the mesh. And bottom straps to hold jackets, yoga mats, towels, etc. So I was pretty, I was pretty accurate on that. You know, I'm getting better at this whole reviewing thing. Uh, very, very nice bag, guys. I mean, this thing is amazing. It is a quality bag. I love it. Thank you, ESPN. Um, again, this is not talking crap about any of the people that ran the show, any of the people on the show, because I liked them all, man. They were all great people. I had a lot of fun hanging out with them. Uh, it's just whenever it came down to it, I didn't fit in their liberal world. So, and I'm not unhappy about that. Uh, I'm just disappointed that you can't even talk about, you know, a huge part of the population that, I mean, like me, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a part of the population that, you know, we like outdoors. We like shooting our guns we like hunting animals uh we like knives we like i mean it's just we do i mean we're not out there doing the wrong things with them all in all it was a great experience i'm happy i did it am i happy with the end result no I, it was more about embarrassment i think because i was you know real adamant in the beginning i didn't tell anybody but once they kept me all the way through the show, all the filming, I was like, well, shoot, I'm probably gonna be a pretty good part of this. After everything that they filmed and the stuff that they showed me that they'd filmed, they cut together some stuff and showed me like, hey, here's a sample of what we're doing. And then none of it ended up in the show. So it is what it is. That's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. And uh, that's it. I'm out. Y'all take it easy.